we have switched our pink to blue this time. We are in the blue city of Jodhpur. I'm afraid I just blew myself. <laughs> Why it's called the blue city, I'm sure you'll find out later on in this video. Today, I think we're just going to walk around and go to some of Jodhpur's more famous historical landmarks and basically just see what the city has to offer. Apologies for not having filmed yesterday. It was just a travel day and we got another train uh, to get from the pink city of Jaipur to here. But it was just another train experience like ones that we've had previously. So therefore we decided it wasn't interesting enough to film. But now it's time to explore the blue houses of Jodhpur. these massive samosas, swallows, two cups of wonderful tasting chai, and all of that came to 80 rupees, just over a dollar. Toji Kajalra, which is the local step well. This was constructed in 1740 by a consul of the Maharaja at the time. After having been submerged for over a century, this has now been restored to more or less its former glory. The overall structure is at least 200 feet deep, and as you can see, like with the step well that we saw in Amer, it has some fish in it. And we were witness to how deep it was because we saw some local children jumping off of the towers that are on the four corners of the square that make up this step well. It's interesting because this is more similar to the step well in Jaipur and how the stairs are not only functional but also an architectural feature. We are now at Gantagar, which is the clock tower, and it's the centerpiece of Sardar Market. Since it is a market, then I think it's time to explore. <laughs>
are currently walking away from Sardar Market and making our way towards the Old City, where we have been reliably informed that there is a big concentration of blue houses. different theories on why the houses in Jodhpur have been painted all kinds of blue colors. One is that it repels termites. Another one is that it is a sacred color to the Hindu god Shiva. Another reason is that it reflects the sunlight so it keeps the houses cooler. And the final one is that this was done by the Brahmin caste and the Brahmins were the highest caste in Indian society back when a caste system existed. So as a result, it was to denote noble families. No matter what the reason is, it's beautiful. <laughs> but I've had a really nice time just wandering around the Blue City, just the two of us today. Yeah, I think it's actually been, like, don't get me wrong, it still certainly kind of screams the same sort of energy as most of the other Indian cities, but I think the nicest thing is with the layout of it, the streets seem a bit wider. And so even when you're going through things like markets and all of that kind of thing, it feels a little less packed in. And so you feel like you can breathe more. It's less claustrophobic. It's made it that much nicer to go through. And like the people have also been really nice. Yeah, we met a kid at the step well who wanted to encourage us to jump in. <laughs> and we've met so many people who were just asking where we were from. And one man we met at the market around the clock tower, he fully walked us to the spice and tea market we went to. It's just been a really pleasant time. Hmm. This city kind of reminds me between a cross of Jaipur and Agra. It has the energy and all the shops and amenities of Jaipur, but yet there's somehow this friendly small town feel like an Agra. Yeah, it feels somehow a little bit more accessible. Yeah. Hmm. I think we're just going to wander back to our hotel now Yep. and chill out. So it turns out after our random walking that when I then pulled up Google Maps, we were about half an hour from home. How we managed that, I have absolutely no idea, considering the fact that it was only meant to be within a 15 minute radius anyway. But all the same, we are here. We swung by the same place where we got samosas to get some kachori, which are these things and they are glorious, and we're having those for lunch. And then I think for the rest of the afternoon, then I think we're just planning on chilling. With a view to getting our stores of energy back up to see some more of this wonderful city. Tomorrow, not today. Yes, tomorrow. And so with that, until next time, take care. And keep smiling. <laughs>